Well, good morning, Internet. Um, it's an early Saturday morning start. Um, to paraphrase Robin Williams, it's uh, 0700 in the morning. What's the 04? Oh my God, it's early. No? Okay. Um, so yeah, it's about seven o'clock in the morning. So I've got to be relatively quiet, but I've got loads to do today on the Tigra. I have got uh, front brakes, discs, springs, knuckle joints and rear discs and pads as well and i've got a wheel to paint whether i'll get red to doing that i don't know um but as you can see at the moment let me point you up it's a clear blue sky um, i mean watch the globalists destroy that anytime soon but while hay is making i'm doing car stuff or something like that so let's get on with it but very quietly very very quiet so here's my stash. Springs. Um, speaker covers. That, that, yeah, that's another day. Discs, discs, pads, pads. Knuckle joint, knuckle joint. Knuckle joint? Oh no, that's an O2 sensor. <laughs> it's not a knuckle joint at all. So that's all the stuff I've got to do today. Um, yeah, will I get it done? Don't be so negative. This is how mad I am. Didn't know, but we had a frost overnight. Okay. Right, starting to get jacked up and get myself ready. Thank you for joining in. Lovely. Um, right, so why we're we doing this? Well, preventive maintenance, really. Um, on the MOT, a couple of things came up. One of them being uh, rusty shocks, but this side looks, well, it's quite new, actually. <laughs> So maybe somebody did one side, not the other. Mm, not good practice. Um, it also came up with a little bit of play in the bottom joints. So I thought, do the bottom joints, uh, do the springs. And uh, while I'm at it, the discs have got a bit of a lip on as well. So um, yeah, that other side feels yeah, not great. Lots of ripples in it. So while I'm in here, why not do it? And then it's great for... Well, probably the life of the car, to be honest. So, um, right, wheel off. <sighs> so one big breaker bar. And, um, yeah, one nearly broken back. The wheel is off. What is it? Last time I... Well, let me explain. Last time I had these wheels taken off, it was when it went and had new tyres put on. So all the tyres were shot. So I had four new tyres. But why is it? I, I'm sure they just do it with impact guns and don't do it to talk. Every tyre company seems to ram these on as tight as possible. Makes it a nightmare to get them off afterwards. They don't need to be that tight. <sighs> anyway, let's get on with it. All right, so everything's a bit grotty, <laughs> but serviceable. Um, that's going to be fun getting that out because looks like that's been chewed up. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Do we give those a paint? I mean, somebody's painted them, obviously. Rubbers and all. <laughs> Don't look great. I might give us a little spruce up because they don't look very nice. And like I say, the spring on this side, we can't see that very well, but it looks quite new. So I've got a strange feeling somebody has um, changed this side. Probably not changed the other side. Is that, is that a weep there? Um, I'm not sure. No, I don't think it is. I think it's just moisture. Right, so it's going to be fun. Getting those bolts out. I'm going to give those a good splatting with some WD first of all. Um, let that soak in and then get the caliper off, I think. That's the plan. And the first thing I dislike about Vauxhalls, take your brakes off. You've got to have these star drive things right in there. I don't like them. Just, don't, just me. Just don't like them. Well, first challenge. I don't want to shift. Well, I would not like to hazard a guess. The last time they came out, but they're out with the help of heavy equipment. Whew, and me sweating and breaking. Right, so caliper off now. Going to string it up. Um, I don't know where I'm going to string it up because the strut's coming out as well. So it's pointless trying to put it on there. Um, maybe I just put it out of the back there somewhere so it's not putting stress on that pipe. Whew, sweating already. So luckily for me, these are not putting up much of a fight, although. They're a little bit corroded. I'll clean them up, they'll be fine. Uh, sway bar come off okay as well. So at the moment, 
We're not doing too bad. Yeah, I shouldn't have said that, should I? Stupid move, Reeves. Stupid move. All right, that's two bolts out. So the whole assembly is going to be able to drop down now. Um, I took the uh, ABS sensor out just to make sure that I don't rip the cable as well. Um, so now I'm going to drop that. I'm going to take the sway bar out and then get up the top. Uh, I think there's three bolts up there. Could be wrong. And then the whole strip assembly should come out. Of course, it's three bolts on the Audi stuff. Should have known. One bolt on this, and uh, yeah, that's not looking great. WD. So, next challenge is the impact didn't work because obviously the spindle's turning around inside the shock. 18 on there. Um, that one's a E14 or whatever it is, these crazy sockets, these star drive things. And um, yeah, let's see how that works. And the answer, yeah, worked just fine. Right, it's out. It wasn't too bad of a job. It's probably took me half hour, three quarters an hour, but I'm videoing as well so you can do it quicker. If you weren't doing YouTube content, just as mugs do. Right, so I'm going to get my screen compressors on there. One bolt there to take off. And then put the new spring on. <laughs> Simple as that. Ah, yes, the good old widow makers. <laughs> and as easy as that, it's off. There you go. Nothing to be scared of at all. All off. Actually doesn't look in bad condition here. Bump stop's okay. Um, seal looks okay. I don't see any anything around there that concerns me. Plate's good. A little bit of surface rust, but nothing major. And so that spring did look okay. A little bit of rust around the top, but um, just there. So yeah, worth changing because if they snap, uh, you're in a world of pain. But uh, yeah, new springs on. Now we're going to offer these up side by side because sometimes there is a top and there is a bottom. Don't think there is on these ones. Um, sometimes you have a, a flat plane on there, uh, which has to go to the bottom. But looking at this, um, yeah, it's pretty much the same each side. Um, looking at the old one, where's it end? Just there. So if we put that there, um, yeah, pretty much ends in the same place. You can see down the bottom there, they're pretty much the same at the top. That one ends there. That one's much the same. And uh, oh, a bit of the scrapping outside, excellent. Right, it doesn't look like you need to compress them too much to get them on, so yeah, let's do it. Well, I had a little bit of poor 15 left over, so uh, yeah, why not? And there you go, new spring on. Wasn't too tricky at all. Yeah, don't have to compress the spring too much, which was nice. And uh, it's all sat where it's supposed to be, down the bottom there, up the top there. All nutted up, so yeah, let's get it back on again. Easy. And of course, got to put a bit of lipstick on that pig too. <laughs> oh, poor 15. It'll cover anything. And now for the big reassemble. Um, and this time, a bit of copper grease. Just to make it easier for the next person. If there ever is a next person, we will see. <laughs> you are coming out. You may be mangled, but you are coming out. <laughs> yeah, definitely had seen better days. Right, next job, bottom joint off, because I've got to change that. And just a quick tip for getting the sway bar back in. Don't struggle with big bars and stuff. Just get a bottle jack. Jack it up, pop it in. Easy. Now, now I'm not entirely sure about this. Mm, I've got new ones, these rod ends. Um, I think there is an Allen key in there that you can undo, um, but it also looks a little bit like it's pressed in. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure about this at the moment. So looking at the replacement ones, I have, I have nuts and bolts. So I've got a strange feeling you have to drill those out and replace them with nut and bolt which to be honest i would rather do on a ramp so i think today they may not get changed is that a wise choice i think so the last thing i want to be doing is trying to yeah try to get a drill up in there and struggle because it's going to be an almighty pain in the backside and it's not a job I think I want to do on the driveway 
So I think I'll have a chat with a friend of mine, borrow his ramp for a couple of hours, and um, do it that way. So, my next little job. I'll give him a little bit of a brush up. I'm going to give him a good clean. Uh, get the pads out, check the piston is going in and out okay and not seized. Um, I'm going to set the backing plate off as well, make sure these sliders are all good. Uh, just give it a bit of an overhaul, uh, grease it up, and then put it all back together. So there you go. Split the holder plate and the calipers back there. So I'm going to give this a good clean up, because uh, these are not moving very freely. Uh, give it a little bit of grease greasy and uh, put the new pads in. Put it all back together. Simple as. Will I give it a paint? I might give it a little bit of a touch up. I mean, the, the pig needs a little bit of lipstick, doesn't it? Let's, uh, let's be honest. <laughs> so how nothing but the best for the Tigra. Um, Amiga. What well, was a car? Mm, apparently they're certified products. That's nice. Okay, they the pads, and uh, apparently AB Techs, premium quality brake discs. Hmm, we will see. Ooh. Well, it's all protected and wrapped up. Yeah, a little bit better condition than the last one that came off. Are they the same size? Let's see. Yep, look like it. Give me spray. Give me spray, give me spray, yeah. So, new disc on and old screw back in. You only need to nip those up because the wheel holds it anyway, so it's not going to come undone. And it's only there really to hold the disc flat. Um, the bolts really hold it on, so yeah, it's just stop it falling off when you uh, take the caliper or anything off, so you don't need to go mad. Ah, right. Clean up, refit, new pads. Right, as I said, one of the really important things to make sure is these sliders. So when you're doing your brakes by yourself, just make sure that they, they move freely, like these are at the moment, which are pretty good. You can take them out and re-grease them, um, which is what I might do in a minute with these ones. Um, but if they are stuck, your brakes are not going to work. It's as simple as that. They're going to bind up on one side and within you know, a few hundred miles, you're going to start getting problems again. So make sure that they are nice. So another thing to make sure that you get nice and clean are the sliders just there, the brake pads themselves. Um, you can put some brake uh, pad grease on them. Um, you shouldn't need to, to be honest. They should be in there quite free. Um, you may need to just quickly run some sandpaper over your pads itself where they slot into those. Sometimes the paint is a little bit thick and they bind a bit, but you want to move them quite freely on there. So there you go, back plate back on, pads in place, even got my little telltale wear meter on there. Everything's all nice and loose. So now just check over the caliper itself and the piston, make sure that's all free. Slap her back on there and uh, yeah, we're good to go. So the piston went in nice and easy. If you are struggling, get yourself a piece of wood like that and a pry bar and just ease it back in gently. Don't struggle, use your brain. And there you go, all back together again. Does need some paint, doesn't it? <laughs> all right, so that is basically the front ones. Um, I'm gonna crack on the other side now because obviously videoing takes time and uh, time is something I don't have an awful lot of. So, took you through this side. The other side is exactly the same, so nothing to worry about at all. Um, yeah, as for the painting, that's entirely up to you. But uh, yeah, I'll do these and then either in this video it'll be the back ones or another video. Who knows? You will find out though. Yeah, you just knew it would, didn't you? <laughs> Can't do all this work and leave a horrible skanky caliper. Can we now? There you go. More lipstick on that pig. Cracking on. As I said, not going to video this side because you've seen one side, you've seen both sides. But got the strut off, got the new spring on. And uh, doing all right, and we still got blue skies and sun. Whoa! So just release the caliper from this side, and slider is all good. Remember what I said? That one is absolutely rock solid. 
absolutely rock solid and the brakes are working fine they weren't pulling weren't doing anything crazy but obviously there's a problem there and there was a little bit of judder uh, at high speed you know over 60 sort of thing braking from there so yeah there you go my point in question that is absolutely rock solid and needs sorting and there you go seal the rubber all okay just got a little bit of condensation in there and that's what happened so i will give it a good rub down with some cloth and uh, grease it all up get all the rust out of the way we should be good there you go it ain't perfect but it's cleaned up um, with a load of grease around it it'll be perfect there you go she slides a treat now excellent just like that one perfect so yep that was a pain to get off again <laughs> And uh, yeah, as you can see, the disc get much better on this side. Uh, as you can see, that is slightly unequal. Um, and that's again because of that seized piston. And they're pretty much stuck in there as well. Look at that, pretty much solid. So right, clean up, let's get on with it. And there you go, side two professionally rebuilt. Well, something like that anyway. It's been painted, looks nice. <laughs> So there you go, new springs, new discs, new pads on the front. Um, yeah, I might just um, I might just call it a day. The back's going to be really easy to do. It's a lot easier than the front. But um, yeah, maybe another day. Can't spend your whole life working, can you now? Right, thanks for joining me, Internet. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.